Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys had a great week and that you're doing okay. Uh, today is going to be a slightly different video. I was supposed to make like um, a very long chunky video about my commonplace system and flipping through all my previous commonplace books but I'm not gonna lie, I just did not feel great this week. I felt very tired like way too tired to sit there and explain a lot so i thought i'd do a slightly different video uh it's kind of like um i thought i'd call it dozy doubling so you can almost just put it on and pretend like we're just journaling together or you can like listen to me if that is what you want but if you meet me, I will not take personal offence. Uh, so I thought I'd just record myself planning next week. It's very low effort. Uh, and that's kind of what I wanted to do. It's just a very low effort, simple video. Because I am not feeling... I do not have a lot of energy this week. I've been sleeping so much. And even with like sleeping 10 to 12 hours a day, I wake up and I still feel really tired. So that has been fun. But as you can see, I'm just on the right side of the weeks. I'm just putting in my habit tracker. It's not very <laughs> complicated. I like to track whether or not I take my meds. Uh, I want to drink more water, so I like to track my water intake. And then, and what I do is, like, if I've had one glass of water, I'll write the number one. If I've had two, I'll write two, so I know how many glasses I've had. I've also been recently tracking uh, whether I've eaten breakfast or not, because I'm not going to lie, I'm really bad when it comes to eating breakfast i don't know why that's the meal that tends to suffer so i've been trying to be better at that uh praying and then journaling and the last two are just more like for funsies <laughs> whereas the top three are like actual health things i would like to track then i'm like making these dividing lines and this is where I would like to write events and things that will happen for the working days of the week. How have you guys been? Just, you know, checking in. Please write in the comments what you've been up to and how you've been feeling. I hit 4,000 followers this week on instagram so thank you very much it's crazy to think there's like four thousand people who are interested in what little old me have to say but i very much appreciate it also like on the left hand side of the week on the weekly page i like to divide it in the middle with a pencil just because I like to keep my work to-do list and, like, life to-do list a bit separate. I have all my stickers in this uh, TN-sized passport release book. And it makes life so much easier when you're, like, planning and trying to just look through all your stickers. So this, like base one is from this like amazon ephemera pack i think i showed it in my last video and sometimes i don't put it on straight so there's also that i can't believe we're already on like halfway through october it's crazy to think that September literally went by with a blink and I feel slightly robbed. 
because I love September but I feel like the heat wave took half of it so in my memory it only feels like we had two weeks of September and October is literally gone with a flash. Also I'm using these Megan Rhiannon stickers um, to go on this week spread. I really love her stickers. I am always tired, so I feel that tired one to my core. And obviously a little coffee break. How do you guys like your coffee? I like it. Um, one and a half sugar and two spoons of coffee. I know to some people having sugar in your coffee is like blasphemy. But I can't have it too bitter. But then I don't want it too sweet either. So I like this like soft spot in the middle. These icon stickers, like the little ones on the screen right now by Megan Rhiannon, are like a lifesaver for me. I use them for everything. I kind of wish you'd do just like a sticker sheet full of those Have icon one, stickers. Um, because I'm running low. And I just love them. So like on Monday, it's my payday. And so I'm using that little star one to just signify that hey check your bank account because you've got money now and we love we love looking in our bank account and seeing money <laughs> uh, i'm so sorry like i feel like i'm just gonna be chatting a lot of crap for this segment so if, if you find me annoying you find my voice annoying feel free to hit that mute button i will not judge you I don't know what, what am I doing? I think I'm just like looking through my stickers and trying to decide what else I want to put on. I don't really decorate that much. I, I know to some people this would be like a lot and then to other people this will be quite minimal. Personally for me I like to keep my deco on the borders of the pages. I used to put them in the middle of the page and just randomly, but then to be honest, I need that space to write, so it's definitely function over aesthetics. And you can't even see it, but that keychain, I was like thinking, should I put it here? And then I I don't think I did. Yeah, I didn't I don't think it's a sticker that I really like, so <laughs> I'm kind of precious about it. I think I'll put it on my next field notes. I think that will be a vibe. I've been loving my weeks so much. I think this combo of putting it inside a TN system, and I, I did not make that up. Uh, Sarah from Untitled Pages does it, and a few other people on Instagram have do it too, so it's definitely not something I thought of, but I just love it so much. I just love the TN cover. So I put this moon sticker down, but I picked it up again because I wanted to put something underneath. I love layering stickers. I just think like it adds depth to the page. Yeah, so these washi- again, all of these, like, spacey stickers are from that ephemera pack. But there's this, like, washi sticker that I wanted to put down first to cover that writing. Sometimes I like those Hobonichi coats at the bottom, and other times I'm just, like, I am i don't want to look at you. <laughs> and then I put the moon on top. Oh, 
<clears throat> this week has been a very long week. My bar, blah, 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 blah. rewind. Let's start that over again. My brother came down and stayed with us for the week, so I was mainly just keeping him company. Oh yeah, that gloomy darling sticker is also from Megan Rhiannon. I've been waiting to use it and I thought this spread would be perfect. Yeah, so my brother came down and for most of the week I was just doing things with him. On Thursday I went to Birmingham City Centre for the first time. It was actually really nice. I was walking around and I was like, it kind of feels like London uh right in like the city center and we went to the ball ring but <laughs> we couldn't we got lost and we couldn't find it and i was like i swear the ball ring is meant to be massive right so we'll we'll know it when we see it like you know a mall when you see a mall and we were just walking around and then we saw this one building and we were like that has to be the ball ring we go inside and it's a uh, grand central station so I was like, where is the ball ring? I'm like, why can't we see it and why can't we find it? We got there in the end eventually. Huh. It was big, but like, I've been to the Trafford Centre in Manchester. And that is like, I don't know how people shop there. It's way too big and confusing. But the ball ring was manageable. Big, but manageable. So right now I'm doing my to-do list for Monday. I was doing my to-do list for the week. So sometimes I have tasks where it's like you don't know when you want to do it or what day you're going to do it, but you want it written down. So you remember to do it at some point. So those are my tasks. But right now I'm writing what I want to do on Monday. I usually leave monday as like an admin day so i take pictures for instagram and i like to schedule my posts my youtube video also goes up on a monday and because i haven't been feeling well um i didn't do the article i was supposed to do so hopefully monday i can get started on that But I only planned Monday because I am not, I'm a very fickle person. If I write something down too in advance, there is no saying that I'll actually do it on the day because I'm very much a, how do I feel (laughs) on the day? And now I'm just looking back on the previous week and seeing if I missed anything and I think I'm adding more. Oh yeah, I need to go grocery shopping. And, yeah, laundry. I am so tired. (laughs) I feel like everyone in my life is, like, sick of me saying that. But I can't help it. Chronically tired, you know. It's just sewn into the soul of my existence. Wow, so good. Uh, tell me if you guys like this voiceover or not, because honestly, I just feel like I am word vomiting. And maybe that's a good thing, and maybe it's a bad thing. Because sometimes I feel like I can't, or I don't really know how to show my personality in other videos. I need to cancel my Canva Pro subscription because I, I, I don't have the money to be paying for that. <laughs> I've just been doing the, you know, when you do the free trial, <laughs> I've been doing that for like as long as I can do it and then canceling it. Coffee break. I think I'm listening to Wendigoon. I love Wendigoon. He has this new um, Mandela catalog video explained out i love his videos they're just so interesting and i think and yeah i think that's done
so it does not take me a long time to plan my week as you can see I've been using this TN insert to journal since September 17th and I, I do like it I feel like my handwriting is like not as nice but I've been writing a lot more because there's just a lot more space to fill and I do want to finish it by the end of this year like I don't want a TN insert for journaling I just needed this because I ran out in my weeks and I'm hoping to just that my week's mega notes will be enough journaling pages for the whole of next year. We will see. But yeah, so usually when I wake up, I, I don't journal until about late afternoon and then I'll journal again in the night and that's usually how I journal. I wish I could be the person who wakes up and journals like first thing but I'm not gonna lie I'm like I just wake up and it's like I'm in autopilot to do everything that I'm supposed to do in the morning and until I can do all those things like boom 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 I can't think about anything else so uh yeah journaling usually gets put on the backlog until about late afternoon after I've eaten lunch. So this was yesterday. Yeah, I filmed, I filmed, I filmed this footage yesterday, but I'm doing the audio on Sunday. Do you guys like read when people show their journal pages? Do you read it? Cause I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I do. I feel bad, but then I'm like, they wouldn't put the picture up if they weren't comfortable with people reading what they wrote on the page. I don't show pictures of like every pages because some pages are more personal than others. So I am very specific about what I show from my journal. But yeah, I'm a very nosy person. I can't lie. And sometimes people are like spilling the tea in their journals and I'm like, should I, I don't feel like I should be reading this, but then they post on Instagram. I don't feel like my journal entries are interesting anyway. I haven't been doodling as much in them. It's just been more writing. Also, like, I'm using the Uniball uh, 1P pen, and I didn't think it would be that small. I think I got the wrong one, because in my head, I was thinking, I thought, I thought it would be, like, a normal-sized pen, but I think the 1P is, like, a smaller pen, so it's kind of uncomfortable to write with because it's so small. And honestly, like, it's a bit too chubby for my taste like it's not comfortable to write with because it's so chunky but I do like it but it does kind of skip sometimes so I don't think it's the perfect pen honestly still like I love the zebra sarasa vintage pens and I also love muji in 0.5 because prior to this page that I'm journaling in, in the pages before I was using my Muji in the brown ink and it writes so smooth and I just, I forgot how much I love Muji pens, they write so smoothly. I need to get another Muji in the 0.5 ink because Muji is just 
where is that in terms of colleague pen writing it is very cold i wrote i am so cold and literally as i am recording this audio i am bundled in a blanket and i am still freezing i think my house is like very i think it's quite it's not old but i think it's like one of those older english houses so it does get very chilly in here I don't know what I picked up there, but okay. I honestly don't know what else to like update you guys on. I have a sticker sheet idea that I'm really excited about. I was supposed to uh, design them this week, but I was too tired. So hopefully I can do that next week. But I'm really excited about it. I think it's a very good idea, not gonna toot my own, not to toot my own horn. God, can't, I can't speak sometimes. I don't know how people do these voiceovers. But, yeah. Other than that, I've just been gaming most of the time, just playing Valorant. I've made some friends, uh, we like making friends, and they've been really nice. And I think I'm done now. So this little guy, his name is to Tommy Toadstool, he was in this shop in the ball ring, uh, it's called Design. 44 and i also got that coaster from there and it's so cute i love him so much I, th I think he's for newborn babies but i don't care i wanted him for my desk i just think he's so adorable and they had other ones so if you want to look i think it's from a company called thread bears there is another one called, I think his name's Binky Bunny, and he's so cute. But he wasn't in the shop. I saw it online. And I just think Tommy Toadstool, like, how cute is that name? Uh, it's like a matchbox uh, plushie, I think. And I, I needed a coaster for my desk. I was using one from our dining room for the time being but now i have my own one i quite like it i think it matches the vibe of what i would want to do with my desk it's kind of a hodgepodge of things right now i think i'm just like taking off my habit tracker and to do lists, which most of what's on my to do list has not been done this week. Rip, but it's okay. Productivity is one type of measurement, but it's not the end of the world. And I believe that's it. I think I'm done now. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And I hope I wasn't too annoying. Have a great week. Bye.